Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for the possibility to be with here with you here today. And uh, we are in uh, full preparation for the conference on sustainable development or the Rio plus 20 as it's normally mentioned. Um, but also without the crucial participation and commitment of the civil society and business and agreeing an agreement would not be much worth. And uh, it is in all, all our responsibilities for Rio to be a success. And uh, therefore I'm very uh, grateful to see that many participants here today and I'm also very grateful for the Swedish Society of Nature Conservation for arranging and hosting this event. Uh, and let me start with briefly giving the overriding priorities of the Swedish government for Rio. And our ambition is that the conference will deliver renewed and stronger political support for sustainable development on a global level. During the Rio Plus 20, a process should be launched to define sustainable development goals. We believe the success of the Millennium Development Goals could be expanded to other challenges, which would be applicable to all countries. Such goal, goals would uh, com complement the Millennium Goals, and they must comprise the three dimensions of sustainable development, economic, social, and environmental. We are facing uh, some severe challenges today. We often hear, hear of the financial crisis being among, among the most priority, prominent, and, and that's true, but it's not the only one. It is not acceptable that close to a billion human beings are hungry. Close to five million small children die of malnutrition-related causes every year. And with the prospects of a growing population, as we heard about here before, from seven to about nine billion people in less than 40 years, this challenge will not be diminished. Uh, for me, this is one of the crucial challenges for Rio, how to make sure that we can feed the world and do it in a sustainable manner. I think Rio will not solve the problems by itself, but it will, but if we all, uh, governments, traders, civilians, business interest groups, can agree on the problems and the cause of the problem, it will be easier to find the solutions. This is a responsibility for all of us, and I think uh, this is the beauty of Rio. It concerns us all. Despite uh, many efforts and so many agreements, we, as human beings, are still not following the principle of using without using up. However, we can, cannot shy, shy away from the challenges. Lingering unsustainable practices, competition for land, and the loss of agricultural land and forests. As an, for an example, over, over the last decade, around 30 million hectares of forest were converted to other uses or lost through natural causes each year. It needs to be stopped, and we need to start doing more with less. The theme of the Rio conference is green economy in the context of poverty eradication. My main message today is that agriculture, forestry, and fishery, these sectors will play a key role. It is here a difference will be made. These sectors are, without question, crucial, crucial parts of this. It's a crucial part 
of the solution in a transformation to a green economy and a sustainable development. By increasing sustainable productivity in agriculture production, food supply can be secured, be it through small-scale, organic, market-based or large-scale large -scale production. Irrespective of scale and model, the keyword, the keyword is sustainable and resource efficient, uh, efficiency. And we can and shall do more with less. However, food security is more than agriculture primary production. And uh, let me point on a few things that we in the government have uh, concentrated on and uh, which was also dear to me. And I noticed that some of them are already mentioned in the previous uh, speech here. But uh, there is one issue that I and we think is, is very important, that, that is giving women equal access to production resources. And by doing that, we will feed up to 150 million more people. This is one of the main priorities for the Swedish government, especially in development cooperation. Increased gender equality is not just a question of rights, but also a factor of contributing to, contributing to economic growth and securing uh, food for more people. 30% of agriculture product produced is lost through the food chain that we already heard about. Add that an average consumer in Europe and North America throws away around 100 kilos of food every year. We have to be more resource efficient. In particular, poor people spend a very large share of their income on food. Excessive food price volatility affects those most. And open and transparent world food market hampers large price fluctuations. Farmers, irrespectively of scale, therefore need access to markets, both locally, regionally, and internationally. Fish is an, ins an essential source of protein in many parts of the world, and as well a source of income. Fish, fish stocks urgently need to be retained to secure this resource for now and for the future. It worries me and the government that the biological state of fish stocks continues to deteriorate. We urgently need to take action to restore these stocks by reducing actions leading to overcapacity and overfishing. Monitoring and controls are also fundamental. We shall fish under the maximum sustainable yields, not a gram more. And also, 1.6 billion people worldwide depend on forests for their livelihoods. Sustainable forest management has multiple co-benefits to climate, biodiversity, soil, water, and protective functions, as well as economic growth and employment. It's easy to see why forests have a central role to play to the theme green economy in the context of poverty eradication. The use of water, fiber, energy, oceans, land, ecosystems, air, they are all interdependent aspects of food production. Men, women, small and large, all, including me and you, should strive to ensure food for all in a sustainable way. I would, I would like to see an, um, a comprehensive view on food security where agriculture, fishery and forestry are recognizing as being fundamental to food security. We saw the rise, rising food prices and hampering of access to markets 
being a part of the Arab awakening. Beside political and economic stress, there were food and environmental stress. All these stresses and drivers need to be explored and resolved. A society will not be sustainable in the long term if the most prominent driving forces in fighting food, uh, if, if the most prominent driving force is fighting food for the day. It is also every human being's right and on one of our fundamental issues, fundamental needs to have enough to eat. This is uh, the very fundamental and basic for, for all of us. And by addressing this in the Rio uh, conference and the work towards this and after, these uh, points, as I mentioned here, are one of are the uh, main goals for the, the Swedish government in this process. Thank you very much. Just wait for a while. So food for all in a sustainable way. And I was really glad you mentioned fisheries as a, an old marine biologist. It's really important to have this. And being a marine systems ecologist, I also often looked at the interactions between forests and what's happening in agriculture and in the oceans. I'm really glad for that. Uh, but I was thinking it was like food for all in a sustainable way. But what should we concentrate on? I know that the Swedish government has also been criticized for putting too much of the development cooperation and the aid money into rather chemical intensive production in the South. What do you have to say about that? Does the government like the concept of agroecology? Will it sort of uh, take more of its resources towards that kind of uh, agriculture? What's the, what's the plan? Uh, there has been uh, some money addressed to this uh, kind of agriculture, as you mentioned. Uh, there has have been a lot of other money addressed to, to uh, other as well. As I mentioned here, uh, I think uh, we need to uh, both uh, small scale and in some cases also large scale uh, farming. The most important is that it is in a sustainable way. We also see that in some cases, uh, the use of, for example, fertilizers in some countries are, are uh, contributing in a, in a good way for increasing the food production. Mm -hmm. And I can't see a, a, a big problem in that, but it, in the overall goal must, that it must be that it is in a sustainable way. And Svante had a lot of suggestions up here on, on the screen on one of his PowerPoints. Are those kind of suggestions something that the Swedish government can subscribe to and take to real? Yes, uh, I think we. I also addressed some of them in also in my speech, uh, and that we need to uh, the waste uh, reduce the waste uh, that we throw away. That much food, it's it's not acceptable. Uh, also, uh, uh, try to. Uh, do uh, more with less, uh, it's also uh, extremely important. Okay, thanks. I think we actually have room for a question from the audience as well. Do we have a microphone? Great, we have many, multiple microphones, and we have uh, good, I see, in the audience. <laughs> I think this is. Uh, could, could you please just repeat the question because I don't think everybody heard it. If you got it. I per oh, sorry. I, I, the 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 re. If you have the, the microphone, does it work? It would be perfect because there are people also watching it over the no, web. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> okay, it does work. Oh, fine. Uh, you were mentioning in your speech the need for a comprehensive review on food security. And in saying that, you sort of included agriculture, fisheries, and forestry. 
I was just asking a clarifying question, trying to understand what you would like, what would you mean with this comprehensive review? Review on what? The state of the art or what's needed really? I, I think that this is uh, the, the, what I mentioned in the beginning that we should uh, use, use without using up or sustainable. We uh, have today, I believe, in many cases, uh, a practice both in uh, agriculture, in fishery, forestry, that is not in a sustainable way. We, we need to address that. And uh, that's, that's what I mean uh, with this. And I also gave some examples about that. Okay, thank you. Yeah.